In this video, I'm going to show you a walkthrough to get all the commendations in the A Pirate's Life Tall Tale to Sea of Thieves. So to begin the Tall Tale, you just have to come to this tent on any outpost and vote for the first one of the five Tall Tales located over there to begin. From here, you can immediately get on your ship and head to the nearest arching kind of thing near your outpost that you're at. You can be on your boat for this, just know that it takes about four minutes for the castaway to finish talking so the portal can spawn, and then just obviously sail towards it. Now sail through the portal all the way until the very first island that you will arrive at. Once you get to that island, you can continue. The island is called the Strange Shores, you literally can't miss it, it's right in front of you. Jump off, go straight towards the island. The entrance is located by a guy holding a bell. The first place you'll stop here, you will need your lantern and you can actually steal the fire from this green fire and then you have to light the two lanterns at the door to open the first door. In the next room you'll see there's a guy up here, you can light his lantern and then you go around over here. You will see we can go around to this back section towards a boat. On the boat there will be another lantern, you can light that one. And in the group of skeletons you can move the skeleton arm and light his one and that's the three things that you need to light and the door shall open in a few seconds. Or, or like a while. Now just do a lot of parkouring and exploring along the way until the next checkpoint. The next place that you need to do something will end up looking like this. There'll be a bunch of people there. You can go through this little waterfall around the turn over here. You'll see there is a skeleton with a ore handle inside of his chest. And now just exit through the waterfall kind of thing again here. Go up this little area over here until it leads to a door. When you get to the door, obviously put the lever into the handle there. Use the lever and the door will open. When you get to this long narrow one with this section over here, you can light this little lantern over here and you can continue. Up ahead there will be a anchor that you can turn that will lower a bridge. After you cross the bridge, there will be a pulley that's over here that will kind of lower or raise this kind of like flap thing so you can parkour across it. And then follow along this wooden path all the way to the end. Right at the end there will be another lantern that you can light and you just have to wait for a ghost boat to make the journey all the way from there to here. Once it's reached the destination and the ghost disappears, the bridge will drop for you to cross. Now the next thing is quite a far way away, you just have to do a bunch of parkour and just keep heading forward. When you get to the section over here, climb the ladder. You'll see there's a rope here that you can cut with your sword and it will drop a little bridge for you to cross this section here nicely. Up ahead there will be another pulley that you can activate from this side over here it seems and then when you pull it it will pull this mast up here so that you can jump on this platform. Once you're on the mast it will start moving back so just wait for it to give you enough time to get closer and then just jump across. And then straight from here you'll see there is another rope that you can cut and it will drop a little section here that you can parkour across as well. And now that we're in the second area, I can show you how to get all your accommodations for the Pirate's Life uh, Toll Tale. So light this brazier and then head to the door that's, that's right over here and it will open in a few seconds. Okay, so I'm going to speed this bit up here. So right under the cage, you're going to go around this area, around the ship, onto this section here, over the moss like this to get to this section, right through here, into here, swim across this little section. Now this is the correct way you do it, but there are many cheese methods that you can use as well. Use this thing to raise you up here. And once you get to the top, there will be another pulley here that you will raise this thing here to jump on and jump across. Then if you head up this section here, up the stairs, there'll be another pulley that will rotate these things here. You want to get the one that's closest to you roughly into the middle. So I'm going to stop it at around um, somewhere around here. So where that like line lines up with that thing in between the two wooden things. So once it's here, you're going to look to the right here and you're going to jump this section over here into this little cave. You'll see there's a little bottle that you can pick up here. You can open the gate and then once you've got the gate, we're going to run ahead over the moss to the cage. From here, you can put the bottle down. It apparently floats in the air. Cut this rope here so that he falls, pick the bottle back up again, and then we're going to jump down to the ground. And from here, you can just put the bottle on the ground here just so that you know where it's going to be because this is a checkpoint that we're going to use. If you go to the area just outside the tavern, you'll see that you can dig in the crossroad here between the like chessboard, the tavern, and the cage. And the chest for poor Dougie's chest will arrive there and you can just dig it up. Once you've picked up the chest, we're going to head towards the lighthouse. We're actually going to a secret little area by the dock, so keep following along where I am here. I've just sped it up a little bit so you can see. Once we're here, you can put the chest down and grab your shovel, and we're going to dig in. Once you dig here, you'll basically dig out poor Dougie's um, body, which you will see you'll have to dig four times to bring him out. Then you can light his lantern, and he will come to life, and he will start speaking for a really long time. After about two minutes, he will go back to sleep and then you can pick up the chest and interact with him and give him the chest and then he'll wake up again and he will give you the key. Once he gives you the key, you can use the key on the chest to unlock it and once you've unlocked it and opened it, you will see inside lays a medallion, poor Dougie's medallion, which you can go and take to where we put the bottle uh, next to the cage and put it down there on the ground. Now we're going to head into the tavern right there with the green tent outside, head all the way to the top. You can light this here, but we're going to do the stuff regardless. And over here, there's a book that you can read for one of your commendations. 
But if we go back downstairs, you will see there is a pulley located right over here. And once you use this pulley, it will lower the chandelier that has the key on it. Now you'll see this is the key for the cage. So head back to the cage. So here you just quite simply unlock the cage, quite easy. For our next act, we're going to take the bottle that we found, the special recipe kind of like beer bottle thing, and we're going to take it over here to the back of this ship, and you'll see there are players playing chess over here, and we're just going to put this bottle on the ground. You'll see at the chess table, you can use your lantern to also light this candle and bring the characters here to life. Stand here for a few seconds for the skeleton on the right to take a drink and realize his cup is empty and then you can refill his tankard and he will take a sip and his head will explode and you'll find the second book is in the room over here for the other commendations. So you can read the book so long while his uh, head explodes. Back at the cage, we're going to get the skull and we're going to bring it to the chessboard as well. Just place it on the ground for the time being and go get the golden medallion as well. Now if you've done this quick enough, you'll have to wait for the skull to stop talking. You'll use the golden token on the table, and then you will put the skull on the skeleton that has no head, and then he'll basically win the game of chess, and then you will be able to grab the key that is on the table. So go ahead and pick up the key and go put it next to the cage, because I first want to show you where the third book is. Okay, so from the cage, we're going to head directly to the uh, like purplish kind of area here. You'll see there's a bunch of water here. It's basically the back of the parkour ship, and you'll see there is a door here that you can open, and there is a third book over here. There's also some stuff you can do here and see the map in the guy on the bed, but we're showing you the stuff without that. So um, if you're doing it the correct way, you can do it obviously like this. All right, so come back to the cage, pick up the ship key, and we're going to head from here. We're going to head towards the area. Area that had the like crane lift here and I'm going to show you a little shortcut. So from this side over here you can actually go around here and you can actually jump on these things here. I don't know when they're going to patch this out or fix this but there's a lot of like cheesy methods here. You can just jump here across here and you don't have to go do the full parkour. You can just jump over that section to get here really quickly and then use the pulley and get up. Once you're at the top here pick up your key and go to this door over here and voila dude you are going to have the time of your life because in this room you can pick up and loot all the gold that's lying on the floor and also the golden bags and it will actually give you some gold so that's nice. Now you can head to the deck of the ship here and head to this pulley over here and you're basically gonna turn the sails all the way towards you so that they're definitely like 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 parallel I guess with the lighthouse behind you so keep moving until they don't move anymore the whole reason for this is so that we can light this bonfire thing here with the uh, lighthouse so go back to the chessboard pick up the skull and this time we're heading directly to the lighthouse once you get to the lighthouse he will make them raise the bridge for you once you get to the top of the lighthouse, you can put his head on the skeleton body over here, and then you can climb this ladder right next to it, and you're going to go to the uh, little bonfire over here with your lantern and be ready to light it. Now we have to light four things over here. The first one is this one hidden right over there between the two sails that we moved earlier. So we're going to light that one, and the three in the front in the ocean. So use the wheels on the lighthouse to angle the uh, like light beam onto the thing so that it lights up there. You can see the, the, the fire is now green in the distance there, so that one's ready. And this will unlock the section right at the far end of the map from where we're looking. Now before you leave the lighthouse, make sure you light all three of the other bonfires. This one over here, the one slightly above it to the right, and then one all the way on the right, right over there. Now wait for him to finish talking and then take his head with the newfound key that he will have in his mouth. Head on over to the ship with the red sails and put the skull on the ground because we're not going there just yet. We're going to go to that area that we just unlocked with the lighthouse, so we're going to run to the far end of the map. I'm going to show you here. Now just follow along with me here to the beginning of the map here at this section over here that was previously locked off. Now the bridge is raised and you can go and explore the ship. Now on the ship, you're looking for five books, five monkey books. The first one is by this moss over here on the ground next to the torch or the lantern over there. You can read the book for your first one. If you head over onto this end of the ship up here, you'll see there is a mast here that has a book on the side of it over there, and that is the second one that you need. Now if you head over to the wheel here, you'll see there is a skeleton with a key on the ground, but also a book next to him as well. So read the book, and that is the third one that you need, and then you can pick up the key and head to the left of the wheel, jump off the edge here, and you'll see there is a door here that you can unlock. Inside this room, you can get a monkey book that's on the table, so you got the, the fourth one basically. And you can see the fifth book is on the bookshelf to the left of the table. And now you can head back to the skull where you left it by the red flag ship. So pick up the skull and you'll see at the ship with the red flags with the, with the swords crossing, you can go and put his head on the skeleton here. And he'll eventually open the door for you and then you can take his skull inside. If you head on all the way to the captain's quarters, you can see you can put his head on his actual body. And the fifth book that you need for the other commendation is located over here. And that is the fifth one that you need. And now you just take the cabin key and you open the back room. And then you're going to get on the rowboat, you're going to detach it from the boat, and you're going to lead it all the way to the uh, ferry ship that is at the dock. Now just row the boat all the way behind the ship, and then you can dock it, and then that's how you get onto the ship. 
Now on the ferry, you just take out your lantern and you light the Well of Fates and you basically destroy it and break the bottom section here and you can go into the, the below deck of the ship. At the door, you can use the lantern to light the candle and the door will open. And then in the next room, you can light the candle on the wall here. And if you move the coffin directly opposite it, you will see there is another candle on the wall right behind where the coffin lid was. And this will open up the next door over here. And then you can just head on and keep going for the rest of the mission because it's super easy. It's with Jack. we will do a bit of sea ship fighting with Davy Jones. And yeah, that's pretty much it for the rest of the uh, tall tale of A Pirate's Life. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope it was helpful. If you do have any problems, let me know in the comments below. I do reply to every single one. And I'll see you guys in a future video. Thank Thank you so much for watching.